Okay, a uh, quick video on using this uh, application called Kid3, which is a free application that you can use to tag and edit tags on audio files like WAVs and MP3s. Uh, you can download this for free uh, for Mac or PC. So I'm just going to use it to um, show you what I use it for, which is for tagging um, WAV files. And these are usually library files or TV music or radio uh, music that I want to send out to clients but it's quite a good idea to have your tags of things like the track title catalog number composer it's really important um, embedded as a tag so you've got more chance of uh, your name uh, being id'd properly and getting any royalties that might be due to you so i'm still finding my way around this but um i'm going to open up or i'm going to grab a folder which has got two untagged WAV files in it. I'm going to chuck it in there. There you go. Both of those. Now uh, you can see it just says no tag, no tag here. So there's no tags on these. So to tag WAV files you can't apply what they call tag one type tags. Um, hence why tag one boxes over here are greyed out. You can only apply tag two type tags. If that makes sense. And I think tag three, beyond my um, knowledge at the moment. So I'm going to use it, this kid three to apply some tag two tags. Now, there's three boxes here. Uh, you've got your file name here. And then you've got a formatting box here and a formatting box below it. Now, the formatting box here is going to is used to drag tags out of this file, if there were any in it, and show them up in the various tables here. So you can see tag two is actually completely empty. Now, if we try and drag our tags out of this file, glistening treasure trove, um, and not a lot's going to happen because there aren't any tags. Yeah, so it just closes the table. So there are no tags on these tracks. If there were, you can drag them out and you can tell Kid3 what tags to drag out by using the selections here. And you can write your own and add various tags that you think might be embedded. Okay, so that's not going to happen here. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply the tags. So I'm going to select all my tracks, all two of them. I'm going to open up the tag two box here. Now, the title's obviously going to be different for each one, but the ones that are going to be common are going to be artist. So I'll put that in. Uh, mm -hmm, that's me. And then comment. Um, I'm going to put uh, copyright my publishing company. Okay. Date, I'm not going to bother with track number. What I want to put in is a catalog number. Um, so I'm going to add a frame here. So I'm going to go across here to add and I'm going to choose catalog number. And all my catalog numbers begin with MS. So I'm going to do that. So those uh, tags apply to both these tracks and we've got them both selected. So hopefully those have been written into each one. So there we go, that's Treasure Trove and then that's Rich Guitar. So I'm going to have to manually put in the titles from this one. So this one is Glistening Treasure Tro Trove. Glistening Treasure Trove. And catalog number on that one is 1790 okay so quickly do the other one rich guitar podcast intro and it's ms1791 1791 okay so now our tags are all done we don't need um actually we just don't so the bits the ones that are different obviously don't show up here now what we want to do is um, we want to take these tags and we want to write them into this file at the top here. So we use this formatting box here where it says format, upward arrow to the file. Yep. And from, format it from tag two. Here's our tag two box. Okay, so all these tags are going to be written up here. And if we select them all, then we can do all, all our selected files. Now, how it tags them in what order is 
decided here. So you can pick from some of the um, options that you already have in the uh, application, or you can do what I've done here, which is to write one of your own. So I've written um, a percentage mark, which seems to just differentiate them, and then in um, brackets, catalog number, and then title, artist, and comment. So those four tags. And then if I select all of them here, then I can say, right, format these files with these tags by hitting from the tag to tags. Go like that. And now when I select one of those files I've just tagged, you can see we've got tag number, oh, sorry, catalog number, then our title, then we've got our comment, which is the composer, and then we've got sorry, then we've got our artist, which is the composer, and then we've got our comment, which is the copyright. So both those files have got the tags ready. They're not actually quite done yet. You've got to hit the save button. And then having saved it, if you come back to the uh, originals uh, folder here on the desktop, there you go, they've all been tagged. So um, that's just a very, very, very simple look at Kid 3. And obviously you could do as many uh, tracks as you want here and you can change so many things, but it does seem a really handy way to get tags embedded into WAV files. And that's an application called Kid 3. Thanks for watching.